Once you start Pro Tools first and you are presented with the dashboard dialog, here you can create a project or open previous project. If you don't see the dialog, that means you have not logged in. Make sure that you use your avid login username and password to log on. Just like me, as you can see, now it says I am logged on and I can sign out as well. To create a new project, we have two options. One is could create from a template, which is a really great way to actually get started because Pro Tools will create multiple tracks and uh, set them up, including VSD instruments like drums and pianos and so on to get you started. Or if you uncheck this box, it will give you a blank template so you can start building your own from scratch. The other option we have is backup to the cloud. This is the option that allows you to save your project to the cloud. And with Pro Tools First, you have three projects that you can actually have saved to the cloud and synchronized. You can also use this cloud-based project to collaborate with others. And usually the others need to be the Pro Tools users, the professional or the ultimate. You can't really invite other Pro Tools First users into your project. You need to be invited to their project or if they are full paid Pro Tools users who can join in to your project. To start with, I would recommend you actually tick that box so your project is saved to the cloud. And later on, you can change this option so that your project gets saved to your local hard drive. Let's save a song called Demo Song 2. I'm just going to create from the template and just use pop. That is fine. Making sure that I have checked back up to the cloud. And let's create. Now, during setting up and starting your session, if you are confronted with the same dialog that you see on the screen, saying that some inputs or outputs may have become inactive because of your audio hardware device has changed, don't worry too much, just ignore and continue because the templates somehow have it set up into other interfaces and it's coming up with some errors. And this happened to me every single time. So just ignore it. Uh, when he says, would you like to save a detailed report, just click no and continue. And once the project is up and going, you can actually set all of your uh, audio inputs and outputs to your hardware from your input and output section as you, whatever audio interface that you have. Because the project we selected to actually back up to the cloud, one way to make sure that we are actually saving things to the cloud is by the task manager. By clicking here, we should be able to actually see what's being uploading and downloading. And so that before you close down your project, make sure that there is nothing listed here that needs to be uh, updated to the cloud. So in let's change something here. Um, uh, and so I'm just going to move this to trigger the save and control save. And we can see how it's actually uploading now the song, all of the changes that has happened by me moving the MIDI clip to the cloud, saved it and it's done. And now if I move it again and the task manager will um, sort of show us as soon as I uh, press save or let's just do it physically. So if I, click save or control S, you'll see the task manager was synced to the cloud. Next, I will show you how you can transfer this project from cloud-based to local-based. So once you have finished with your project and all of the task has been completed, so the project is synchronized to the cloud, you can close your project. Um, yeah, okay, just save it one last time. And when we come back here to the dashboard and we click open, we should now see Demo Song 2 here. And you can see it's in a blue color. That means it's saved to the cloud. And with our down arrow option, we have the backup to the cloud ticked. We can delete the project from here as well. 
rename it, and even remove the local cache, which you probably don't want to do. Now, to convert uh, this demo song to the local, as you can see in this project, it's in gray color. The backup to cloud is not ticked. So to bring demo song to, to save locally, we be basically as simple as unticking the box. So it will warn you that uh, it will no longer synchronize to the cloud. It will delete all the project data from the cloud, leaving only a local copy. So we click OK, and now it's in gray color. So that means it's now saved here. And now let's say I want to bring this to the cloud. Now it's gone blue. There we go. It's up there. And when I want to say create, now it shows two out of the three projects are available under the cloud already. And those two are the demo test and songwriter. So that's how easy it is to actually have local projects like this one, two, three already locally. And I have two which are saved onto the cloud. And by simply clicking the backup to cloud on and off, you can bring those three projects to the cloud and off again.